making his last stop at the parliament house. The member of parliament, Ibrahim Abiriga, met his death after a known gunman shot at his car near his home outside the capital. The legislator's young brother, who doubled as his bodyguard, also died in the incident. The government of Uganda has referred to the gruesome murder as an act of cowardice. The killers of Honorable Abiriga will be hunted down and brought to justice. We should all be vigilant to ensure that killings of this nature are fought and defeated. MP Ibrahim Abiriga joins the list of some of the country's high-profile murders carried out in the capital Kampala in recent years. In March 2015, Unknown assailants traveling on a motorcycle shot and killed state prosecutor Joan Kagezi. In November 2016, another high ranking military officer, Major Muhammad Kigundu, was gunned down. This was followed by the death of a senior police officer, Andrew Felix Kawesi, in March 2017, also slayed in the same manner. We should reflect deeper in this and say, what is that? that is missing in our sexuality lean. Is it a revolt, a, a revolt from within the, the state itself? Can we rule out international terrorism? Is it foreign aggressors? How dare you recruit people in the community policing, thousands of them, give them guns, you don't train them, you don't give them money. And tomorrow you lay them off. How can you recruit border borders and you give them money purely for political reasons? Ugandan President Yori Museveni has blamed the killings on the Allied Democratic Force rebel group operating in the DR Congo. This slain Ugandan member of parliament is the latest victim of gun violence in Kampala City. The latest killing has provoked strong public questions about the competence of Uganda's state security services to secure people and their property. And security analysts suggest that government needs to change their approach towards the protection of the people and property. I think government, especially His, His Excellency, the head, of, the head of state, and the heads of uh, security houses should create a kind of a mind change about how they look at security. One, they should remove and pull away politics completely. They look at it as an institution of safeguarding people and their properties. And uh, if, if, if the mindset is not changed, we will still have a problem. The slain legislator Ibrahim Abiriga is remembered for championing the controversial bill to remove the presidential age limit. Uganda security agencies have started a joint investigation into the Friday killings. Michael Baleke, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.